Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah my brothers my sisters a few days left for Ramadan the idea of Ramadan is to achieve closeness to Allah forgiveness we must make sure that we've sought the forgiveness of Allah almighty my brothers my sisters it's not possible that we exit the month of Ramadan without having made an effort to achieve forgiveness and Allah almighty says he will definitely forgive so my brothers and sisters you and i are weak we are human beings we commit sin we do things that are wrong we have weaknesses but Allah Almighty is the most merciful. Human beings may never ever forgive you. That's the nature of human kind. A lot will hold things against you even after you've died. But with Allah Almighty, he will not even remind you of something you've done that was terrible if you sought forgiveness and changed your ways. So Allah Almighty says he is willing to forgive you. Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum. Allah wants to forgive you. Just seek that forgiveness. Wailul liman adraka Ramadhana falam yughfar lah. One of the main things about Ramadan, destruction be upon the one who witnesses the month of Ramadan and still didn't achieve forgiveness. It's being dished out. It's being distributed. It's being given by Allah. These are the most powerful nights. These are the most blessed nights of the entire year you are not going to get better than laylatul qadr so for you to seize the opportunities of all these nights to worship allah a little bit more to make a slightly better effort a bigger effort is something that is required of believers please my brothers and sisters let's make use of these last few evenings of ramadan the last days the last fasts that are compulsory fast of this beautiful month of Ramadan and after Ramadan inshallah let's try and keep up at least the Mondays and Thursdays at least the 13th 14th 15th of every lunar month Allah will open our doors inshallah i pray that our lives can change for the better i pray we can grow every one of us has certain things we would like to achieve to please Allah and we know we want to do it Allah gives us these opportunities in order for us to go ahead and to achieve those things come on just do it as they say subhanallah we must make sure that we've seized these opportunities to achieve what we know we have to and we want to you and i know certain things perhaps that you want to you have to have gotten done for allah anyway get them done now make a resolution that's it from today on i'm going to do this for the sake of allah or I'm going to quit this habit or this sin or whatever else it may be for the sake of Allah this is Ramadan how can we allow Ramadan to exit without having earned that beautiful pleasure of Allah may Allah almighty grant us goodness and ease my brothers and sisters so many people out there are struggling with their addictions so many people are struggling with so much We ask Allah to make it easy. Be strong. Give it up for the sake of Allah. Cut it down at least to begin with and then give it up for the sake of Allah. So many people are struggling with so much with bad habits. Whatever the habit is, you know what it is. Come on. Let's work on it. Let's earn the pleasure of Allah. Don't allow shaitan to grip you post Ramadan. Remember that Allah Almighty gives us these beautiful opportunities as a gift imagine if we didn't have ramadan when would people ever be able to uh, be encouraged so strongly to turn towards allah many people have repented this ramadan are you going to be one of them many people have changed their lives this ramadan are you going to be one of them many people have declared and decided to do the right thing from this day on are you going to be one of them I don't want to be from among those who loses out when everyone else is winning. I don't want to be from among those who's not forgiven when everyone else is being forgiven. Imagine a large crowd of people, people are all being forgiven and I'm just sitting in the corner doing my thing. Astaghfirullah. That shouldn't be the case. We can, we can do the right thing. Do you know what I found very very interesting? The company you keep. When you have good company, good people around you, I promise you it is the biggest blessing. When you have good people around you it's one of the biggest blessings they they automatically 
empower you to do the right things and stay away from the wrong things. But when you have company that doesn't even care, people who don't bother about their relationships with Allah, people who have no taqwa themselves, if that's your company, a day will come when you may lose everything you have to, in that direction. You, become, you start thinking that you need to be like them, yet you were a far better person when you were alone. But because you fell in the wrong company, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has spoken about this company. A person is known by the companionship they keep. Secondly, the Quran speaks about the day of regret, the day of judgment when the people who had bad company will regret having had those people as their company because they would have led them astray. So let's polish that up as well, inshallah. Let's be good company and let's be in good company and let's encourage people to be doing the right things. May Allah bless every one of us. I pray that Allah accepts every act of worship of ours and multiplies the reward of it. I pray that Allah softens our hearts to do the right thing. We know what's the right thing. May Allah soften our hearts to do the right thing all the time. And may Allah Almighty keep us steadfast upon it. And may Allah Almighty never ever take away the goodness He has bestowed upon us because of our ingratitude. He says, when you're ungrateful, I won't just snatch away what I've given you, but I will punish you. That's what Allah says. We don't want that. We really don't want that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment can only be for those who really, really deserve that. Really. We don't want to be nasty people. Develop a link with Allah. And you won't regret. May Allah help us to end Ramadan in a way that he's pleased with us so that we can enjoy the day of Eid. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.